from one of the NBA's best defensive centers of all time in Dikembe to one of the game's premier shot blockers now, Jared Allen. And the news, not good for Cleveland. He left yesterday's game with what was then reported as a bruised quad. But we have reporter Richard Jefferson joining us now. So what's the latest on Jared Allen that you've heard? Reporter? Well, people, in the, uh, people in the organization are saying he's got a fractured middle finger on his okay. left hand. And why this is so important is that because if he misses a substantial amount of time and they've been hovering in the six, they've really been hovering in the four or five all season long. So this is a legitimate high level team. But if he drops, if they're uh, the Cavs, excuse me, drop to the seven or eight spot. Now, all of a sudden, and this is why these things are important. An injury today can affect the postseason, not because his team drops, but imagine if they were to play Miami in the first round one versus eight. And let's say that Miami hypothetically had to go six or seven and had to really grind it out against a quality Cavs team. Now let's say the second round you're playing against let's say maybe a rested Milwaukee or rest, rested Milwaukee or a rested Philly. You don't know who you're playing against mm. but ultimately that's where these things can start to build up. Now you get a high level team that falls down just a game or two. They're in that eighth spot. Now all of a sudden the road and path gets a lot harder for teams that are hovering in that one and two spot. Well and Jared Allen when he was playing with the Cavs I mean that is a tough team to beat. So now what are they going to to need to do. We don't know exactly how long he is out for, but with this time that he misses. And there is no disrespect to Jared Allen, but this is what makes this Cavs team so special. They have the rookie in the year in Evan Mobley, and he's been having an outstanding season. Then they still have Lori Markinen. Then on top of that, they got Kevin Love coming off their bench and absolutely balling. So they're not missing size. They're not missing death. It's just one of those guys that they're getting 30 and 18 or 19 between the two, him and Evan Mobley. So they will be able to withstand this, but it still is tough because they're one of the few teams that was able to play big and big consistently. And outkick their coverage. They are so much farther along than anyone sort of projected them to be this season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.